On this session of Coming Out Stronger, I have to say much thanks to Rakaya, who joined us to explore the ergonomic challenges we face working from home. She's a massage therapist and an expert at ergonomic positions that are required to make sure that we're minimizing any stress on the body, especially in the neck and the shoulders, even in the wrist, because the last thing we want to do at the end of this work and shelter in place order is to have body pains or body challenges that can be life lasting. So take a listen and share the information and ensure that you and your family and your friends are well. I've been a massage therapist since 2011. So it's been nine years now. Um, and then I went, I decided to go back to school last year for neuromuscular therapy, which is another six month of schooling. Um, so it's been, it's been really good. Um, neuromuscular therapy, the program is really um, intense. A lot of medical terminology, um, learning a lot of pathologies, um, how the muscles work, how to be able to effectively be able to treat them um, in a short amount of time. So um, it's been really good though. I do it myself. I'm always in bed with my laptop. Um, so I definitely understand and can relate um, whether I'm, you know, slouching over or laying down with my laptop, just typing with one hand. Um, it's definitely something that I do as well. Um, you know, people, like you said, they don't have their desk or their ergonomic desk or their standing desk that they may be able to use at work. Um, so it's definitely different challenges with that. Um, so the important thing to remember to really take into consideration is, um, you know, we're going to try to get comfortable, but always just trying to correct your posture. You just want to mm -hmm. make sure your back is up straight. Um, you know, if you're in your bed, you might want to put a pillow um, in your lower back um, to help you kind of sit up straight. So it could have, um, you know, bad posture is definitely very common um, thing that, you know, that we're dealing with that a lot of people deal with. Um, and so you just want to make sure, like I said, just always trying to correct your posture. Um, and if you can't do that, um, to move around, don't be in the same position for long periods of time. That's another thing that really um, gets people is, you know, if your muscles, if you're slouching or you're laying down and those muscles are in that position for long periods of time, it can really um, cause lasting um, effects that if you don't correct it, it can really hurt you. Yeah, so um, trigger points, I do trigger point work. So there's um, so a trigger point, just to you know, explain it a little bit better for people who don't know what that is. A trigger point is basically a knot. A lot of people are familiar with knots. So it's a knot that refers pain to other areas of your body. So there's muscles in your neck that will refer pain to your arm. Um, so a lot of people will be like, yeah, they'll come in and they'll be like, okay, my arm hurts right here. And, you know, they're going to you know, work on your arm, but it really might be a muscle in your neck that is referring pain to your arm. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, so you just want to make sure, I mean, like one of, the, that's one thing is that trigger points, if your muscles are in that shortened state for an extended period of time, it could cause, um, like I said, trigger points, um, muscle fatigue is another thing that happens. Um, yeah, so those are probably like the two main things that happens. Of course, yeah, so stretching is a big thing. Um, so if you stretch your neck or your shoulders, um, you know, once every hour, <laughs> see, there you go, you're automatically doing it, just talking about it, right? Just like, yes. Move your shoulders, um, movement is really good. Um, like I said, stretching your neck. So you can, one stretch that you can do is put your arm um, behind your back, um, just your arm straight, but behind your back, um, and then stretch your neck to the opposite side. So you can mm -hmm. hold stretches for like 15 to 30 seconds, really mm -hmm. depending on, um, so you just wanna make sure that you feel the stretch. 
Um, if you can't feel it, then you're not really stretching it enough. So you just want to be able to extend your neck and stretch. Um, for your neck, it's really easy. You could just go forward, back, um, to the side, um, like to the front and toward the side. So I'm kind of like facing frontward. And you can also just roll your neck um, in both directions. Okay. And that really helps. Um, that's another thing that really helps. If you have like, um, like if you're, if you're counter in your kitchen and you have like bar height, that's really good. You can put your laptop on there and stand and work that way. Um, another thing you can do is, you know, they have the little stands for your laptop to put on. Um, just moving around and trying different, different positions is really going to be really good, depending on how your house is set up. Laying down and on your computer, trying to type and lay down. Um, your neck is normally, <laughs> you're like looking up, trying to get your head right. Um, that's a really terrible position to use your computer. Um, and then anything where your arm is extended like this. So you just wanna make sure that um, like your wrist is neutral. Um, which is so it's like this, it's not like this, it's not like this, it's just neutral. Because when you, when it's like this, you're just over shortening these muscles, which are your extensors. And then when it's like this, you're just, nobody's like this, no one's like this, <laughs> right? But <laughs> yep, so um, I do um, consultations. I have people that call me from all over the country when they have headaches or migraines. It's one of the things that I do virtually. Um, so, you know, I'll do an intake and ask people um, where it hurts and then really kind of coach them on how to self-massage and be able to relieve their headaches and migraines. Or if they have another person there with them, I can coach them depending on where, um, which muscles are bothering them or causing the headache. Um, that's another thing. I also do stress relief coaching. So I'm a holistic, certified holistic stress relief coach. So I do those um, via phone or Zoom or FaceTime as well. Um, and then of course with this coronavirus, you know, I'm definitely able to help coach people um, and do consultations on um, which areas um, are really bothering them and then how to relieve that. So I can give personalized, customized really consultations on how to relieve those issues. Um, no, I mean, if they have a massage therapist that they go to regularly, you could always reach out to the massage therapist. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention earlier, heat is a great thing. Um, one of the hacks that I like to tell my clients about is if you take, um, you know, an old sock and you put some rice in it and you can put it in the microwave for like anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. You can take it out every 30 seconds and test it and see how warm it is. You don't want it to be too hot. Um, but that's one thing that you can use over and over and over again um, mm. with the sock with the with the rice in it, and you can put it on your neck and just you know it's just if you get a long a long sock, you can wrap it around your neck. Um, the heat is really going to help to relax the muscles. Mm -hmm. um, so it's another thing people can do. And drinking you plenty of water, yeah, mm -hmm. gotta stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water, um, that's another reason why muscles. You know, one thing that I like to um, tell people is. You know, um, if you, I like to compare like your muscles to your sponge that you wash your dishes with in the kitchen sink, right? Um, if you're washing your dishes every day and the, the sponge is wet, you can bend the sponge, you can move it, you can, you know, you do what you need to do with it. Um, but if you go on a vacation for two weeks and you come back and that, that sponge is dried out, right? it's hard, you can't bend it, you can't move it, you can't do anything, right? So when your muscles are hydrated, it's like, you know, when you use your sponge every day to wash dishes, you can, it can function properly the way that it's supposed to function. When you go on vacation for two weeks um, and the sponge is dried out, then your muscles are dehydrated right. and they're not gonna be able to function properly. So drinking enough water is really um, crucial to be able to, um, 
get your muscles to function the way that they're supposed to function. And if they're not functioning properly, then that's probably one of the main reasons why. My website is rukayalmt.com. It's rukaya, R-U-Q-A-Y-Y-A-H. LMT.com. You can also reach me on Facebook, Massage by Rukaya, as well as Instagram, Instagram, sorry, <laughs> Massage by Rukaya. I'm on there as well. Love to give helpful tent, um, helpful hints. You can always DM me or call me as well. My phone yeah. number is area code 415-545-8050. it's really important for everybody to stay hydrated stay safe stay inside of course listen to all of the recommendations so that we don't spread this virus because it literally can affect millions of people um, in a relatively short span of time so we just want to make sure that we are um, adhering to the recommendations so that everybody can stay safe because um, even if you're not symptomatic um, you know if you're asymptomatic then you can spread it to others and not even know it and then it could be, you know, life-threatening to them. Um, and it does cause, even if you don't die from it, it does cause um, lifelong lung issues, right? Lung mm -hmm. capacity issues. And, you know, we don't have any spare lungs running around. So <laughs> we want to make sure that we're um, taking care of ourselves and being careful of who we're around and adhering to the recommendations. Mm -hmm.